All right, guys. Uh, so basically, what we're going to be doing today is we will be going over trending with Factory Talk View SE. Uh, basically, we're going to be going over the steps of Factory Talk View integration to Historian, the trending object from Factory Talk View that has been modified for the use of Historian data, and how to add a trend, a view project, and how to configure a plot from the Historian. Uh... <clears throat> All right. With that being said. You want to open up your specific display that you want to do it in so I wanted to do it in process overview make sure you click that then you're gonna to want to have to go in um, objects and then you're gonna go in trending and then trend pro and then you're just gonna highlight and put it over the region that you want And then once you're in there, you're going to go in. I'm going to cancel out of it because I already did it. I'm going to delete this. I will just do it again because I had to already have it there. But you're going to go on trending. You're going to go on trend pro. And then you're going to expand it and put it there. And then once that's there, you're going to want to make sure uh, a couple things that your everything is check mark except the collapse and then you're going to want to go on trend setup and then after trend setup you're going to want to go on add after add, you're going to go on historical data, production, and then in that, I'm going to go to the specific ones that I want, which is these. And now that I know that, and now that I know my, these tags, I'm going to select the ones that I specifically want. I'm going to click OK. And now those tag. Uh, properties are here with the traces then you're gonna want to press close and then you're gonna want to click close and uh, close the property trend property uh, tags also okay and then you're gonna want to save it these are three new pens that we want to save and then we're going to test to see if it works. Play. And then you can make this smaller. If you want, you could drag this and make it. So now you can see that it's trending. We're going to launch our SE client um, pressing by using the SE client icon. Uh, there's many ways to run it. So now we're going to want to stop now that that's going. Now we saw that it was working. And then we can save any changes. And then we're going to want to watch the SE client. Boom. You're going to go on run existing. And you're going to find the one that you want wherever it is. Mine is the instant stove. You're going to wait for it to initialize. Take some, take some time to load, but uh, it eventually loads. It's going to, but uh, once it loads, we can see the trending data for it.
There it goes. So this is how it basically looks. But as you can see, there's more to be displayed. So let's uh, shut down the client and then uh, let's expand this. Okay, I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna go on launch it again run existing and then run like I said it takes a little bit of time but once it loads it up we'll be good to go and then now uh, we'll see our trending and see if it's gotten bigger let's expand this All right, so now we can see that it's actually trending. Uh, what you're going to want to do is stack the y-axis so you can see all different ones, the three temperatures that we have. You can go ahead and make this smaller. Basically, what we're trying to show is that the traces, they're changing. Um, and then as you can see, the the red, the green, the blue, they're all different. So they're representing different traces. So we're going to start with the uh, temperature probe 200 traces, which is the red cycle, uh, by clicking on the start cycle. And it's all interactive. Um, so now you can see that we're going to wait about 30 seconds and then you should be able to see it start to trend. Our red should start to cycle pretty soon. We can start our on the, our green our 300 also. So now we got both of them going. Looks like it took that, but not my 200. But there it goes. Now, as you can see, that it's going. As we observed previously, uh, you know, using the using this software you can set up different tags and then monitor it and as you can see different ones the green being 300 two being 200 and then the blue one being 100 they're all trending so basically that's how you do it all right thank you